Hi, we're the, the Mouse, Mouse Couple. Couple. And today, we're going to give you our review of the Boathouse for lunch at Disney Springs. So, let's get started. So to start off, we ordered an appetizer. Um, well, before the appetizer, we had the rolls. That's true, the rolls. They are covered in honey. They were very good, very warm. Um, sticky. Very sticky, yes. But very, very good, kind of like melt in your mouth. Um, very soft and fluffy, so yeah, the rolls were outstanding. I don't have a picture of the rolls, but very, very good. So don't miss the rolls, like I did. Um, but yeah, for our appetizer, we ordered the stone crab claws, mm -hmm. and these are only available in Florida from October 15th through May 1st. So limited time um, for the harvesting of the claws, and these were priced as $16, $16 a pound, or 62 for a full pound. So we ended up going with a full pound, which was five claws, and they were huge. Um, but very, very good. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts on them? Well, again, I'm not the person who orders fish normally, or crabs, or anything other than shrimp. That's kind of a safe spot. So it was just a crazy experience yeah. for me in general, because I'd never... they did the first crack for the crabs, but then you had to like get all up in there and mm -hmm. get the stuff out. So that was different for me because I'd never done that before. And then it tasted very good. Yeah. It wasn't fishy. No. Very, very fresh. Um, and they're a little bit different this year. I don't know if it's because of COVID or because of the hurricane season we've had this year, but the size of the crab claws have to be bigger this year to be harvested. So the smallest claws are two and seven eighths inches big. So very large, very large claws. Um, so you're definitely getting your money's worth with the price of crab and whatnot for the pound for, 60, for $62. So and getting the five claws in a pound was the better deal to go on that route versus going per piece. So And we were with your folks again. Yes, my, my parents were there as well. So again, all the food that we're We did today, not eat all of the claws ourselves. Yes, we, we are splitting all this four ways. So, um, And as far as drinks go, we each got, got some drinks. So you got the shipwreck. Yes. And that one was? A rum drink. A rum drink. Rum, uh, tropical juices, fresh oranges, and cherries. Mm -hmm. So what were your thoughts on this one? It was very tropical and very good, and I think since we were having fish and shrimp and stuff that it was... I liked it. I was yeah. happy. It was good. It was very strong. Yeah. It was very big. Very big. It lasted your whole meal. Yes. So, something to keep in mind if you want a drink to last a while, this a one's good a good option. value. Right. Because it was so big, it, just, it lasted the entire meal. So... And then I tried the, it was a special one, because we went in early November, so it was Christmas time. So I got the Old Fashioned Christmas, which was essentially an Old Fashioned. Um, it had Heaven's Door bourbon, fresh cranberry, and rosemary. So the cranberry and rosemary gave it the kind of Christmas aspect to it. And this one was very good. It was on the sweeter side for an Old Fashioned, um, but mixed with the cranberries and the hint of rosemary. I thought it was a nice little balance. I will say that the cranberries at the end of the drink were not my favorite compared to like the uh, black cherries in a traditional old fashioned. So it's just very different being sweet like black cherries are that soak up the, bur the bourbon flavor versus the cranberries which did not soak up anything and were very, very tart. Um, but overall very good. Would, would recommend that one if you're going for Christmas season or whatnot, but yeah. And then as far as our food goes, we both decided to get I think they were technically appetizer portions, um, but there were plenty of food for both of us. So you got the... The coconut shrimp. Yeah. With my tropical drink. And that came with a chili orange sauce? Orange chili sauce. So what were your thoughts on that? I'm not like a fan of like fruity, like... I always, my brain goes to like orange chicken, mm -hmm. like Chinese food that's like fruity and sweet, and that's never what I pick. So I was a little nervous about the sauce, but paired with the coconut shrimp, I thought it worked really well, and I really liked it. 
The shrimp were very big. Yeah, they, they were huge shrimp. Compared to mine, yours were huge. Like five times the size. Yeah. They were very, very big. And they were butterfly too, I believe. So. But they were good. I was happy. I took a little bit home because I could not eat all of the big shrimp. Yeah. And then I got the firecracker shrimp. So if you've had like bonefish grill and like the bang bang shrimp or every restaurant has their own bang bang boom boom variation of it yeah it's essentially that so like a kind of a creamy spicy sauce it had some like peppers in there too it did have a bit of a kick um the peppers were pretty spicy so the, the shrimps that were closer to the peppers were spicier but overall i thought it had a very nice flavor to it i ended up eating all my shrimp i mean they were they were smaller they were kind of like popcorn shrimp size um compared to yours especially but yeah, would highly recommend getting that one if you're a fan of like the bang bang or boom boom or whatever kind of firecracker shrimp. It was very good. And we shared yes. truffle fries. Yes. So we want to get some fries because since we got appetizers essentially, there were no fries with it or no sides. So we asked the server whether he recommended the normal fries or the truffle fries. So He said truffle fries. <laughs> yes. And these were, I think it was like maybe some sort of cheese and parsley on top of the fries. And then have like a lemon aioli served with it to dip it. After the meal, it looked like we hadn't even made a dent in them. Yeah, they were because it huge. was a huge, shareable side portion, and it we took those home too because yes. it was there was tons left over. Yeah, but very very good. Um, this was my first time at Boathouse, and your first time at Boathouse, mm -hmm. so I was very impressed with, impressed with this place. I, from what I've seen with the menu before, I thought it was going to be like gigantic portions and food was very expensive but really the stuff that we got other than the crab claws which were special um the food was pretty reasonable mm -hmm. i thought um and then for dessert can't forget dessert now again caveat here being that my parents were there as well so we are splitting this four ways but we i've seen before that they have the s'mores baked alaska and that's the famous dessert that they have here at boathouse and this one serves four so this is kind of, in a way, like Boathouse's version of the kitchen sink that is found at Beaches and Cream, how it's just a large dessert that feeds multiple people. So we asked our server about it, and he said that they are not actually doing those right now. I don't know if it's because of COVID or just changing the menu. But if you want one, you have to special order one ahead of time. Like He said, I think, like five days in advance. So it, it takes, takes five, five days, days to, to make. make them. Like it's just kind of like forming the mold of the ice cream within it takes so many days so he checked in the back to see if they actually had one made up and we got lucky we got the last one that was left over yeah. so i guess somebody had ordered it before or they had set out three because it's a quarter of the pie essentially um and yeah so we got lucky to, to get the last piece and it was huge um in the video that i'm showing right now you can see the reference for size compared to our server's hand he like said, here, let me put my hand in so you can see. <laughs> yeah, it, it was gigantic. Um, easily, easily fed the four of us we, with plenty yeah. of leftovers. We have so many leftovers of the ice cream and the marshmallow on top. Because um, that's the other thing that was different was because it's a s'mores baked Alaska. It's not meringue, it's marshmallows. Mm -hmm. And the ice cream was all chocolate. Then it had like a really, really good... Um, Graham cracker, cracker. toffee-ish uh, crust to the bottom, which was mm -hmm. very nice and worked well with everything else. But yeah, overall, I thought that dessert was delicious, but also huge. So huge. It was $40, so it is on the pricier side, but it does serve four people. It would have served more than four people, honestly. Yes. Yeah. He, I think we could have had six and still had leftovers. Yeah. For sure. At so, least six. So yeah, something to consider. If you want something that's fun, if it's back in the menu, I'm not sure if it's gone temporarily or what to do with that is, or you can call ahead and request that it be specially made for you. So, yeah, I highly recommend the dessert if you are in, into s'mores and ice cream and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Also here, I thought the ambiance of the restaurant itself was very just kind of comfortable, not too stuffy in there. Mm -hmm. Again, thinking that it was like all these huge entrees and kind of expensive entrees that it was going to be kind of stuffy but it's right in the water a lot of like natural light coming in the windows um i think this would still be family friendly too yes yeah 
would would definitely recommend this place for families. You can they have some tables that are in boats, so you can like sit in the boat. Um, they had cute containers for the kids too yeah. for their food. Because they have the amphicars here um, that you can rent to take a little trip in the amphicar outside. So it's like a old fashioned car that is also a boat. So you just kind of drive into the water, which is kind of cool and fun to watch those as well. You can sit outside a boathouse and just watch them drive around in the water. And the kids' meals at Boathouse come in a cardboard version of the Amphicar. So, very cool to see those walking around. Um, the kind of decorations in there seem like almost like 50s, 60s kind of pictures. It was just kind of vaguely vintage. Yeah. So, stuff all the way from like the 40s through the music they had up to like the 70s and stuff. So, it was just kind of throwback fun. Yeah. Um, and then our server here was wonderful. Um, his name was Daniel, and he just kind of answered all of our questions. We kept asking questions about the stone crab claws and just kind of wanted to know more about how they get them and all that kind of stuff. And he kept going back into the kitchen and doing some research and coming back to tell us. So he was great. Would highly recommend him. Would request him next time we go, mm -hmm. for sure. But yeah, overall, what were your, what were your thoughts overall? I really liked it. It was one of my favorite meals that we've done at Disney Springs just because it was very fun. All the food was great. We had a fantastic server and it was it was just fun. Yeah. It was a fun meal at Disney Springs in a place that I had never been before and like you, I see seafood and I think, oh, is it going to be stuffy or will it be like party tropical and it actually fell kind of in the middle a little yeah. bit because it was just it was classy but it was fun and the food was really good and it was just a really nice time yeah i kind of saw this place as like a casual sea seafood restaurant on the coast so like very just fresh seafood but a little bit more upscale than that mm -hmm. not not too upscale oh uh, you don't there's no dress code here or anything like that so um but yeah i would it's, it was very on the casual side, but just just a hint of upscale. Um, but yeah, and then also because it was Christmas time, like I said, with my drink, I will say that I loved their Christmas decorations out front. Mm -hmm. I thought they had the best theming with their decorations because they had snowmen out front made from fishing bobbers. So I thought that was very fun and creative. And yeah, overall I just thought it was a great experience. So that will do it for our review of the Boathouse for lunch. Let us know in the comments below if you have tried this place out and what your thoughts were. Did you like it? Did you... What did you try? What should we order next time? Because there'll be a next time. Yes, there will definitely be a next time here. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. See you real soon.